lively enough, but now let's visit a place that's anything but lively, the most famous graveyard in the Wild West, Boot Hill. Yep, Boot Hill. But if you were wondering why those grave signs look so well preserved, the answer's that it and the ranch don't go back to the last century, they're brand new. In fact, it's one of the attractions of this dude ranch deep in the heart of, well, not the Middle West, but Sussex, and where many of the guests are normally the bowler-hatted professional type, or certainly anything but the legendary cowboy. The ranch, with all the western-style props, was built by Peter and Prudence Mason, who once actually had a Wild West show and toured the continent with it under their professional names, Buck and Lita Starr. Today, their experience in trick and fancy rope work and trick riding is being passed on to their guests, who, it would seem, might have been brought up since childhood on a regular diet of John Wayne and the Lone Ranger. Being the only one who can really handle a gun, Peter Mason also acts as sheriff. And as boys will be boys, the dudes keep him busy, as you'll see. Actually, for the record, they're only playing. There's never really any trouble. Somehow, we don't think the local police would take very kindly to even troublesome guests being filled with lead. Still, what a way to really let your hair down. Well, so much for his holiday. Andy paid in advance. <laughs> Seriously, though, although the Dude Ranch has been established for many years in the United States, surprisingly enough, it's an entirely new institution in Europe. Although, goodness knows, the place must be overflowing with frustrated would-be cowboys. And at places like this, you can really get rid of a few unwanted inhibitions. Magnificent thoroughbreds like Comet, this six-year-old Palomino stallion ridden by Peter Mason, give just the right atmosphere. Incidentally, the sheriff role played by Pete is not without some foundation. He is, in fact, a deputy marshal in Arizona, where he spent nearly ten years. As you'll have noticed, several of the dudes are women and beginners like Veronica Mitchell, who for the rest of the year works at the Hurstmonceau Observatory, are taken through the first stages on especially gentle horses, like this Indian pony led by Prue Mason. Don't think life at a dude ranch is just one long round of make-believe. To some, it's a worthwhile holiday for the horse riding alone. Well, after a couple of hours on the trail, the riders mosey back to the ranch for a quick snack round the campfire. Doggone it, beans again. There are no cattle on the ranch, so Pete puts his skill with a rope to a more entertaining use. Undoubtedly the fastest draw this side of the Sussex Downs. Although Pete's pupil Dave Kenny, a sign writer from Brighton, is obviously no novice himself. It goes without saying that for the many, many Walter Mitties among us, the Golden Horse Ranch is a dream come true.